Hey guys, I'm currently in Marbella. We decided to come really last minute. We booked our flights literally the day before. Um, but I didn't vlog yesterday. I'm starting the vlog today. We're on our way to get acai bowls. Apparently they're the best acai bowls, so I'm about to test it out. My acai bowl was amazing, literally the best acai bowl I think I've ever had. Um, but yeah, we're just chilling on the beach for the day. My mom has arrived to Spain. I went to the piercing shop yesterday and I got my nipple pierced. And the woman in the shop wouldn't let me leave until she took a picture of my boob. And she was literally shouting at me and wouldn't let me leave. She's got pictures of my boob on her phone that I did not consent to. And I don't particularly want these photos on here because when you walk into the piercing shop there's like loads of photos like up on the wall and like I'm afraid like that might oh my god. I'm afraid that my boobs are literally gonna be plastered all over that um in here and get water. Piercing shop, so yeah. Are heading to a new restaurant today that I haven't actually tried yet before. We're, I going, have. To, we're going to a Mexican called Eleven Eleven. Um yeah, I'm not really in the mood for Mexican, but anyways, let's go to the Mexican. Trying out this Mexican restaurant called 1111 and it looks so pretty. I'm very excited. This looks good. I got chicken tacos and a margarita. I've got chicken and rice and mom got pork tacos. 1111 was 10 out of 10. Those tacos were very, very good. Um, possibly my new favorite restaurant. I'm gonna come here and try here for breakfast. But yeah. <laughs> what did you think, Bev? Mm. Bev didn't really like hers. She got chicken and rice. Mom, what did you think? Yeah, <laughs> 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 Gotta go, guys. Um, who went to it? Um, so she doesn't have anything to say. So basically, uh, um, I'm gonna get another mojito, and then we're gonna we're gonna go to the beach for ice cream. What ice cream are you gonna get? No. So I'm gonna get mint ice cream. <laughs> Bye guys. I wants to get cigarettes because she wants to try his smoke for the first time. Mom, what's your thoughts on that? No. Why not? I actually lied. I've had one before. No. 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 My mom. <laughs> My, my mom thinks that if you smoke a cigarette that you'll go green and you'll end up in bed. You will, you'll end up sick. Mom, I think that's the only, you're the only person that's happened to. No, you'll end up sick. Mom, I've, I've smoked a cigarette before. And then you'll end up not well. I think that's just you. I've smoked many cigarettes in my days. No. No. Just came to Chino to get one more drink before we go to bed. So I got a slimy to the moon, which it said it was vodka, lime cordial, cordial, and a special ingredient. So I was feeling risky, so I got it. So Ava, what did you get? You're just showing my boobs, not my face. Oh. And I got another margarita because I just want to stick on the margaritas tonight. I don't want to mix my drink. Um, so yeah, the margarita. Mom, what did you get? When? What did you get? Did you get? <laughs> Gin and tonic. No, mom, come on. I'm ready to unlock my glasses. We have. Okay, so guys, so this is my Yours drink. Yours looks like fucking piss. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Don't, I haven't even tasted it yet. <laughs> oh, that's fucking rotten, Devin. You shouldn't have bought it. I told you no. It tastes disgusting. <laughs> I literally don't know why you got that. It's my margarita. 
Yeah. What is it like? Why was I risky? Oh. Yeah, you can. That margarita is good. I actually think it's better than the one in the Mexican restaurant. Good morning, guys. I'm just back from a walk and I went and got an acai ball. It was very good, actually. Acai balls are my latest obsession. I'm literally obsessed with them. But I'm going to the pool for the day today. Kind of wanted to go to the beach. But I'm going to the pool today. Do you guys remember this apartment? This is where I made my first um, YouTube video. Literally this time last year. Anyways, guys. I experienced hate for the first time the other day. So, will I tell you the story? Okay, so. I was sitting in the sunroom with like my whole family. Like, I mean, like my whole family, like my mom, my dad, all my sisters, my auntie, like we were all just sitting there just talking. And I was going through my DMs and I got a few messages off people being like, um, Ava, I hope you're okay. I don't know if you saw the article about you or not, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh my God, like what the hell? What the hell is the article and what is like the comments? I stupidly downloaded um, the app to like see what people were saying. And I'm just like sitting there reading all the comments to myself. And then just the tears start strolling down my face. And my mom and dad are like, what's wrong? Ava, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? And I'm just like this. People are just so mean. People are so mean. And I'm just like hysterically crying. My mom's like, don't read it. Don't read it. It was so dramatic. My mom was like, don't read anything Ava, don't read it. And obviously I was going to continue to read the comments, but there was like over a hundred comments. And when I tell you, when I actually tell you, there was not one nice comment. There literally was not one nice comment. I was literally just getting roasted on all these comments. And so then anyways, I was like crying for a few minutes and I decided I would like stalk a few of these people to see like who these people are that are like giving me hate. I was cured. It literally cured me, like cured me. I was like, why the hell did I just cry? Like, that's actually so embarrassing. I'm like ashamed of myself that I cried. These people were like 15, 16, like, like I literally was like, you are such losers. Like, you are like fully such a loser. Like, can you please go and take care of your kids and like bring your kids to school and like go feed your kids and not like be sitting here I'm giving a 21 year old girl hate that you literally know absolutely nothing about you know so then I was just cured I was like oh my god why did I actually just start crying over that but yeah that was, that was my first time experience hate obviously I've got like hate messages before off like a few people but I mean this was like the first time like loads of hate at once so you know what that means guys I've made it I've finally made it there was an article written about me and I got so much hate, which means I've made it. Anyways, just thought I'd fill you guys in that. Um, um, yeah, that was that. But now I'm gonna go to the pool and yeah, chill by the pool. The weather like isn't like the weather is so hot, but like it's like cloudy. Like it's cloudy, but it's so warm. But yeah, so I'm just back from the pool and I'm gonna have a bath now. It's only like half four, but it's like a bit cloudy now because, uh, yeah, it's just a little bit cloudy. So I'm not gonna lie anymore. I'm gonna have a nice bath. And then we're going to the Indian restaurant uh, tonight. I don't know if any of you remember, but I was in love with the Indian uh, last year. I literally went every single weekend. So we're going back there tonight. Bev, uh, I haven't been in a year. So yeah, that needs to be done. Bev hates Indian food. So she's not happy about that, but like, you know, She's just gonna have to deal with it. But yeah, gotta have a bath and start getting ready and I'll see you going out for dinner. I'm wearing this cute little dress from a brand called Asta Resort, I think it's called. It's um, Australian. Um, Bev, would you like to give us a little fit check? I'm wearing a tank top from Zara and which is mine. skirt oh, from which Bershka. Is mine. Shut up, I these ones. Which is freaking mine as well. Anyways, we're on our way to the Indian. Bev, do you know what you're gonna get? No, don't put me in Indian. Bev doesn't eat Indian food, but I do. And I am the favorite child. Okay, we're going to book tomorrow. No, we're not. Yeah. No, we're not. No, we're not. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. 
favorite restaurant, if you remember this restaurant, you're a really big OG. I really? hate this restaurant. You hate this restaurant? Yeah, you do. Mom, do you like this restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> so I got the chicken madras. Bev got the buna. Chicken buna. And my mom got. Don't sit like that. Garlic chili. Garlic chili. What did you get, Mom? And then we also got a big starter and we're eating good tonight. Yeah, I think it's too much food actually. And I got normal naan bread. Oh yeah, Bevan got normal naan bread and I got pshwari because pshwari naan is the best naan Bevan refuses to try. Yeah. Because it has it? coconut in it. No, Why it doesn't taste like coconut. I've told you that so many times. You, you need, need to, to try, try it. it. How good does this look? As you fucking ate my chicken curry, <laughs> so he put the chicken curry down and Ava ate mine instead of her own no, one. No, Bevan got the Buna and I got the Madras and the Buna has no chilies, but the Madras has two chilies. And my mouth is on fire. <laughs> yeah. I ate the Buna and it was really good. Yeah, and it was meant for me, and now I can't taste anything because my mouth's on fire. Oh, I'm really full now. <laughs> Just ginger. Going to Lacanada because I want to do some shopping. I want to get some sandals and look in Zara. I think we're flying home tomorrow. I don't know. We might fly home Thursday instead, but I really don't want to go. Like, I want to stay here for longer, but... I'm working on it so I actually can't. But yeah. I'm back from Lacanada. Lacanada, there actually wasn't that much stuff there. Like, I didn't get anything in Zara, which is really surprising. I thought I was literally going to do big, huge shopping screens there. Didn't really see much. I just went to Lacanada to get sandals because I actually did not bring any sandals over. I don't have any. I broke them last year and Santorini and then I booked flights to Spain literally the day before I arrived so completely forgot I didn't have sandals and I obviously had no time to get them so I went and got a pair of sandals in Pull and Bear they're actually so nice I love them but they're in the car so I can't really show you guys um but it's so hot outside it's so warm it's like 30 degrees so I came up to eat some pineapple and cool down because I'm fucking roasting I don't bring my camera down to the pool because like there's nothing to show you at the pool it's literally just me sunbathing which is not fascinating um and I'm obviously not gonna like start shite talking to my to myself while people are trying to relax you know I've actually got I've only been here three days but I've got such a good time like I've actually got a really good tan this year, which was the aim. I'm gonna go back to the pool now and sunbathe a little longer and I'll see you guys before dinner. Okay, I'm ready for dinner. I'll show you what I'm wearing. This is like my favorite outfit ever. I'm wearing this little red set. I think it's so cute. I'm literally obsessed with it. Bevan's actually refusing to go for dinner with me tonight because we got in a huge fight there So she's like not allowing me to go for dinner. So That's exciting. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do to be honest with you But I am going for dinner. So she doesn't want me there I guess she's gonna have to go to a different restaurant. But yeah, so we got in a really big fight over actually this outfit Um, Because I wouldn't let her wear it for me even though it's my outfit. Anyways but it's not looking great. It's not looking great. Guys, this skirt is like a pencil skirt, like so like that's as far as I can like stretch my legs. So I literally can't walk. Like I literally um can't walk. This is gonna be even worse if I have to go finger alone like this. I'm on my way to get an acai ball. Shock. I've literally got an acai ball every single day since being here. Um, it's just my latest obsession. I'm just literally obsessed with them. Lovely. Go to the pool. This is today's little fit. A little skirt and top and then I just threw over a shirt because they'd give out if I didn't. Guys, this is a side ball. It's so good. I got it without banana because I literally can't stand banana but I could eat this every single day. 
I need to start packing my bag, which is really not it. I really want to stay, but I can't because I have to get back for work. Um, oh my God, I actually had to come up from the pool because I actually gave myself the ick. There was a bird flying on the sky, in the sky, like, and whatever way I looked at it, I thought it was, um, I thought it was like a rock or a ball or something. So I proper like jumped and like put my hand, like put my hands to like cover my face and it was literally just a bird in the sky like and there was a literally a big group of guys behind me and I actually want, I actually wanted to die because I was just like that is the ick so I've actually came up it's only like half four because that, that was actually just too embarrassing I can't believe I actually thought a bird in the sky was a ball or a rock like okay I'm ready for dinner I'll give you a little to check when I get to the mirror um, I'm going back to see though because it's just right beside us and it's easiest because we have to get to the airport tonight I'm wearing my new sandals they're so cute they have like a little bit of a heel on them which I definitely did not need because like I'm top them off but anyways just wearing this little white skirt and my new sandals and my new little pink jacket bag that my friends got me for my birthday um, but yeah, I'm actually in the mood for a spaghetti ball night, so worked out well. Me and Bev have made up. We, um, yeah, we were fighting last night and, oh, also we were fighting last night and then Bev left the restaurant because we were just like, Roasting each other back and forth at the dinner roasting table. Roasting each other. And then Freaking my roast battle. And then my mom was getting really angry. So then my mom got up and stormed off and left. And like I was left by myself at the table. And I was wearing that pencil skirt, the skirt that I literally cannot walk in. So I had to like, like I had to, I had to like try and chase after them and like like walk out of the restaurant and I like, couldn't walk and like the waiters and like everyone in the restaurant was looking at me because like I literally was like walking like this but yeah we made up and everyone's friends again I literally just ate dinner but I'm gonna get some um, Burger King because my big diet for my summer holidays starts tomorrow and I'm being really strict I got chicken nuggets then these other chicken things and then I got these things cheese donuts a little bit questionable but we'll see what they look like I also lost my airpods which is really annoying because now I have no airpods for the plane oh I thought that was someone else yeah I've got no airpods for the plane but I've got a spare box at home so it's okay but this flight is going to be very painful with no airpods these on the menu and I wanted to try them Whoa, why is it What's it? They're like cheese donuts. What are these? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. These are good. They're like just cheese donuts, I think. Why the fuck did you order this? I'm just gonna eat it. it tastes good. We had a little bit of disaster on the way to the airport because my mom decided to put petrol in a diesel car. I don't know how I do that. And ruined the car. Very bad. Didn't ruin the car. When me and Bevan were... If I told you the stuff she'd say, you'd unsubscribe. If I told you the stuff that Bevan said to me, you would I not said, even look at her again. I, I, will, I, will, I called her an idiot and then I didn't like her. Do you know what she called me? She called me. No, I'm not gonna put that in. So. Uh, she called me a fat clown. A, oh a fat fuck. <laughs> a fat fucking bitch. And we're sitting at the table and everyone's staring at us because no one is speaking because everyone's so mad at each other. And my mom starts crying at the dinner table. Like. And then I started crying and then because I was so angry. I wanted to punch her in the face. I started crying. I was so uh, angry. Last time I was in this airport, I was literally left in the airport by myself, bawling my eyes out in Marbella because they wouldn't let me on the flight. So this airport does not bring back good memories. <laughs>